started my own company for a variety of reasons. Roger. 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 Oh, yeah, Roger. God bless Roger Corn. Hello, fellow followers. Welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here. And today, after you, Roger Corman, forever the king of B-movies. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who may know, sadly, Roger Corman has passed away at the age of 98. And I've been a huge fan of Roger Corman for many, many years. Uh, ever since I was just a little tyke, and I could I could watch B-movies, horror movies, sci-fi movies, and knew who Roger Corman was. Uh, and Roger Corman was one of the most prolific men in Hollywood. He excelled at independent filmmaking, uh, at B-movies, horror movies, cult movies, exploitation movies, sci-fi movies, drive-in movies, uh, all the good stuff, you know, all the good stuff that a lot of us like out there. And he was a legend, is a legend, will forever be a legend. And I really wanted to do this video on him. And, you know, Roger Corman led from 1926 to 2024, and that's a hell of a life. And just about everybody in Hollywood that you know of came up through the school of Roger Corman. Roger Corman helped introduce the world to Jack Nicholson. He helped introduce the world to Francis Ford Coppola. He helped out Ron Howard and so many other big names. He he would have these movies and he would get them done, you know, quick. He would make production after production. He would create uh, his own studios, New Horizons, and so many other. He would uh, like, yo, you want to get this movie done? Okay, here's the here's the budget. Here's how many days you got done. Let's do it. Get it done. He would shoestring budgets, independent filmmaking. Uh, he, you know, he would introduce the world to so many different types of films uh, that are just like uh, beloved by so many today. Uh, Jim Wynorski, uh, who a lot of you may know from uh, Chopping Mall and so many other movies, uh, he considers uh, Roger Corman his mentor. Uh, you know, Charles Band, one of my all time favorites of the Full Moon and Empire uh, Studios, He, him and Roger Corman are like two peas in a pod. Charles Band is the modern day Roger Corman uh, that we have. And him and Roger Corman, you know, did so much, so many, so many things similar with each other in, in, in the world of film and entertainment, B-movies. And I, I love that Charles Band is continuing that legacy. I'd love to know that Charles Band is out there still doing this. And uh, Roger Corman, you know, there's just so many movies you could list. It's just impossible to list all the movies that he directed, produced, and made, and everybody he introduced the world to in entertainment. But he worked on so many movies. He had so many uh, projects at, at one time. You know, the Slumber Party Massacres uh, was one of them, and I'm still waiting on a couple of those. Uh, you know, the uh, you know come out on Blu-ray DVD or the Sorority House Massacres. Uh, I would like Part Two and uh, you know Hard to Die and all that. But he worked on that. I absolutely loved the Roger Corman. Uh, you know exploitation stripper type movies, but I also loved like Humanoids from the Deep and Star Crash and uh, other movies like that. I really loved the movie, um, the movies that he did with Vincent Price and, uh, you know, all those type of movies, The Terror and everything like that. He, he created so many movies and introduced the world to so many great greatness, you know, and just like growing up and, and, becoming aware of these movies and becoming aware of who Roger Corman was, you know, growing up, you know, as a kid, you don't always necessarily know who's behind every movie. You just see a movie late night on cable TV or HBO or something when you were young or staying up way, way past your bedtime and watching movies that, that titillate and excite you or just scare you and just like battle beyond the stars and stuff like that. And the stuff like that, that Roger Corman helped produce and uh, the fall of the house of Usher, uh, you know, all that, all that good stuff, you know, uh, that Roger Corman did and he made and directed and just like working with William Shatner and everything as well. Uh, it just, it just was so many, so many great movies, so many, so many, uh, just good experiences at a theater and a drive-in, you know, that uh, so many people had. And, and it's just, it's, it's, I love looking back on things like this. Uh, I mean, it's sad that we lost, lost him, but I know he will live forever within us, as long as we have his movies, as long as we have his entertainment, as long as we keep him in our thoughts and stuff like that, as we watch entertainment and everything, uh, Roger Corman will live forever. I mean, his mark has been left on Hollywood uh, to this day, and it's never going to be gone. You know, uh, I think, you know, it's really cool that um, the Joe Bob Briggs had, uh, they did the, the, the Drive-In Jamboree, I believe it was last year, and it aired this year on Shudder. Uh, they had Roger Corman uh, celebrating his 98th year and everything, and they had Bruce Dern with him. And uh, I absolutely love this little speech that Bruce Dern uh, said about Roger Corman. What I liked most about Roger was he perpetuated the movie business. 
without us ever realizing that's what he was doing. And that's very true. Do you do shit that's never been done? And the only time I ever got bugged at him was he didn't put me in Von Richthofen and Brown. Oh. <laughs> that sums up so much of the man. Uh, he, he has been honored by so many people. He's, he's spoken highly of by so many people. He's created so many just incredible movies as I've listed. And I just, I really felt like I wanted to, wanted to and needed to do this and just say, you know, thank you. Thank you so very much, Roger Corman. For so many years of entertainment, for so many B-movies, cult movies, exploitation movies, sci-fi movies, uh, so so many B-movies and boobies. What can I say? B-movies and boobies. He had the man, you know, he had an eye for beautiful women and he had an eye for, uh, you know, showcasing those beautiful women and he had an eye for showcasing such great talent. And as it behind, not just, you know, he, yeah, he was a great director. He directed so many great movies, but he also found people and he produced movies and, uh, you know, he had, he allowed women to direct, you know, he, he allowed women to direct, he allowed uh, men to direct. He, he gave, uh, so many people like this opportunity, opportunities to just be like, okay, you want to do this, do it. You know, he did it for him and he got him started and he got him going and he, it just, it just, it, it puts a smile on my face thinking about it and it puts a smile on my face thinking about him and the movies and that he's created what he's done. And I, I just absolutely loved Roger Corman's, uh, I, I loved his films, his work, his, his attitude. Uh, it's a shame. I really wish I could have got uh, popular enough on my YouTube channel at one point in time to be able to meet him before he passed away. Uh, you know, and it's, 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 it's crazy to me that, um, you know, he's gone. He really, like, I've seen so many people say, I thought Roger Corman was going to live forever. You know, like, he was never going to die. And you know what? I thought that myself. But like I mentioned, like I said a minute ago, as long as we still have his entertainment, as long as we still remember him, as long as we still enjoy, because he, he had an amazing, amazing career. And I absolutely you know, could only fathom of having such a career as him. Uh, and we will always have that with us and we will always be able to remember that. Uh, this is what, this is where I get, like, I get mad at Shout Factory because they have a lot of the Roger Corman stuff and I would absolutely love a Roger Corman box set instead of this, like his stuff weeded out here and there one at a time or exclu site exclusives. I mean, the man deserves so much more uh, uh, care stuff from Shout Factory. Uh, that's besides the point. But what I'm saying is, uh, thank you once again, Roger Corman, uh, for everything. You will be missed, but you will live forever. As the King of B movies, you will live forever with and all of us fans of those B movies and everything. Uh, you know, like Joe Bob Brick says, the driving will never die. Roger Corman will never die. You know, he will never die. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. What are some of your all-time favorite Roger Corman movies from the ones he directed, from the ones he produced, to the ones he, he's made? And, you know, all that. What are some of your favorite Roger Corman movies? Leave all that in the comment section down below because I really want to know that and what you thought about this video. And if you liked what you saw here, maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing, hitting that bell for notifications. That would be awesome if I earn your guys' subscriptions or possibly share the video out for everybody to see. Or join and become a channel member because that would help out my channel immensely. Thank you and shout out to all my channel members. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for being channel members here and for all of your support. And to everybody watching, whether you liked me, hated me, or liked this video, or hated this video, I thank you for sticking this long. Wherever you all are, please have a great, safe, happy, healthy day, morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Uh, go watch a Roger Corman movie. Pick out your favorite. Find one that you've never seen. Or if you've never heard of the man till today, go look up Roger Corman and find you a good Roger Corman movie. And always support physical media because it truly is the superior format. Godspeed. You really epitomize the American dream that you can succeed no matter what.